Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. Hey everybody, welcome to Zach's top stock picks of the week. It's going to be me and your buddy Ben Rains, but I'm going first, taking the reins on this one with my top stock pick. It is Funko, ticker FNKO. Let's take a look at Zach's.com and see what I see. So Funko is a Zach's rank number one strong buy here. It's got a Zach's value style score of B, growth of C, momentum of B to help it round out with a VGM composite score of A. That's a good thing. It is in the consumer products discretionary business. That's a fancy term there. Uh, they're a toy company. Okay, they make these little caricature type toys. And uh, but that's that's not all. OK, so this is what I want to look at here first. <laughs> the growth sales growth, 48 percent sales growth this year. Next year, that's expected expected to slow to 8.74 percent EPS, 240 percent next year, 9.52 percent. These are all pretty good numbers. Now, these caricatures are being made into NFTs. So this is actually a blockchain play and something I have had in blockchain innovators before. Take a look at these estimates coming from analysts over the course of the last 30 days. You've got two analysts upping the ante for the current year, one for next year. If you look back at last 60, you got six and five doing the same. So a little bit of bullish action. What's that done for the overall Zach's consensus estimate? Well, you can see here we're up from a buck 17 to a buck 26 for the current year. Next year, up from 132 up to 138 so those are pretty positive but look at the positivity here in terms of earnings over the last four quarters a 44 percent beat 135 percent beat 140 percent beat 123 percent beat the beats just keep getting bigger which is why i made the colors that much larger so that my friends is what i like about the stock all right so that's all i have for my top stock pick of the week ben what do you have for us? Hello, everybody. Ben Rains here. Today, I'm looking at Lending Club, which trades on the ticker LC. Lending Club went public in 2014 as a purely digital peer-to-peer -peer lending firm. The firm struggled out of the gate for various reasons. Then it really found new life amid the global fintech boom, and Lending Club changed its long-term trajectory when it purchased Radius Bank Corp in the early part of 2021. Lending Corp is a diversified, or Lending Club is a diversified web-based lending company that allows customers to take out loans for almost any purpose, from auto loans to larger purchases such as home improvements to paying down credit card debt. The firm normally allows people to borrow up to $40,000, typically with a fixed term and fixed interest rates on a regular monthly payment schedule. The Radius Bank Corp acquisition helped enable the firm to generate or keep more of the loans it generates on its own balance sheet. The deal also provides LC a more direct pathway to becoming a modern digital-based bank with a consumer focus. The company utilizes what it calls its AI-driven and machine learning models to help determine what customers it will provide loans to. The company boasts that its model helps it offer lower uh, credit rates while also reducing its own delinquency rates. Since its founding in 2007, nearly 4 million members have taken out various loans through the company. Lending Club's growth potential is rather large uh, in a world driven by credit card and digital financial services, both large and on the consumer level. Its digital focus will help it grow, and the firm is already seeing half of its members come back for a second loan. And its CEO said on its earnings call recently that it benefits since the loans originated at a fraction of the cost compared to a loan a new member uh, demonstrates. The revamped lending club is currently expanding its portfolio with newer products, which includes auto loan refinancing and its entry into the red hot buy now, pay later space. Lending Club topped our Q3 estimates at the end of October with revenue up about 250% year over year and 20% sequentially, which is a bit better comparison given the timing of the Radius deal. The company's deposits grew 12% sequentially as well to about $2.8 billion. And it crushed our adjusted earnings estimates for the third period in a row. Looking ahead, Zach's calls for the Lending Club's Fiscal 2021 revenue to soar about 156% with FY 2022 set to climb another 41% higher at about $1.1 billion. 
and its expected to swing from an adjusted loss of $1.53 per share last year to positive 11 cents per share this year, and then skyrocket all the way to positive $1.52 per share in 2022. So a massive jump there. We see that LC's consensus earning estimates have also climbed since its report with its FY 2021 up from what was going to be a loss of 12 cents per share to its current positive levels and 33% higher for 2022. This bottom line positivity helps it land a Zach's rank number one strong buy at the moment. Overall, its shares have skyrocketed 240% in the last 12 months, but luckily for those who missed out on that big run, LC has cooled off a bit uh, as Wall Street took profits after its huge post Q3 earnings release surge. It saw it go from around $32 a share all the way to nearly $50 in only a few sessions. The stock is now trading right at those pre Q3 run levels and it jumped 10% Tuesday morning to about $32 a share. Uh, this helped it pop out of oversold RSI territory and still sitting at 38, so well below neutral. Lending Club is also trading at a massive discount to where it was three months ago at 20 times forward 12 month earnings. This backdrop could provide the stock with plenty of room to climb, especially considering that some analysts raised their price targets to well over $50 a share following the report. With the current Zach's consensus price target marking 53% upside to its current level. So LC is certainly worth considering at the moment. And that does it for top stock picks. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for a look at some of our services, portfolios, and more.